Hi, I'm Sam and I'm a crew member and I'm going to be talking to you about a former Anyeji. Um, she is a Nigerian artist and this is her first time exhibiting in the UK and the work is really exciting and really poignant. She originally trained as a painter but then moved to sculpture after graduating and she uses mostly non-biodegradable plastic in her work. She doesn't sort of use the term recycling or upcycling because the cycle ends with her work. So she takes the plastic bags and uses the practice of Nigerian hair threading to sculpt them into the sort of shapes that you'll see around. And it transforms something that is discarded into something beautiful. So as you can see, there's a variety of different shapes. We've got the, the threading of the plastic bags that I just mentioned. Now, this is um, obviously a hair technique within Nigeria that was often passed from a mother to their daughters. But because of colonialization in Nigeria, Western culture sort of seeped in and hair threading was seen as either old fashioned or synonymous with lower classes. So a lot of younger generation women didn't want their hair threaded anymore. So the reason if former started to thread plastic bags is she missed doing her sister's hair. She missed the sort of tactileness and togetherness and the sort of community that happened when you got together and did each other's hair. So she just started finding other things that she could thread. It's a way of keeping the practice alive, even if no one wants their hair done like that anymore. Um, and the other shapes you can see, you can see these little sort of bulbous shapes here. Now, they're actually from what's called pure water in Nigeria. You can get bottled water, but for those who can't afford that, the cheaper option is pure water, and they come in sort of sachets around that big. You bite them open, drink it, and then discard the packet. And because it's a much smaller operation, the University of Benin, which a former attended, had their own water, pure water company. Um, and she always saw the packets lie and, and every time she'd see them there'd be more and more and there wasn't anything being done with them. So that's where she started taking the non-biodegradable plastic and turning it into more sculptural work and then that adjoined with the plastic bags to give it sort of a way more textured and varied feel. So this piece is called The Children of the First Daughter and it references a sort of community gathering within Nigerian culture where the first daughters of each family would meet and talk about any issues but it was also an excuse to do the sort of most extravagant hair and wear your most extravagant outfit and sort of it became like a celebration of culture and it also uses reclaimed wood as well which is really important within the gallery everything is sort of reclaimed even the little placards with the work's name is sort of discarded wood from laser cutters and just thinking of the things that we waste can still be used and be beautiful and it's just making people think that everything they throw away can be transformed into something that you could appreciate. So one thing a former stresses about her work is that it's never finished so she thinks of it as incomplete work which is the title of the show so it really sort of ties in and this work was actually edited for this show we had boxes before the show and everyone donated their non-biodegradable plastic bags um, and a former came and worked those in in the show which is a really sort of nice detail because people can come in and pick out that you can see certain supermarket bags or, or things that they've donated there's also a text in here which visitors are invited to pick up and either read to themselves or read aloud. So this piece is called Sit With Me um, and it's a recurrent theme within the exhibition that there are seating used and this idea of sort of community because your former explained that when you are speaking to someone the idea that you invite them in and invite them to take a seat means that you're accepting that to be in your space. So she uses seating as a sort of invitation to enjoy the work and come into the gallery and sort of think of it as your space and not just her space. So this piece is called Queen Eliza and the artist sort of made it in the essence of her mother. She's talking about the sort of really intricate braiding of the hair that she would see when she was younger but because of the clash of Nigerian and Western culture she'd also have like the sort of Western heels and clothes. It's also one of the most intricate pieces because you can really see how small that you can weave the thread in and how you can do all these different techniques to create something large and intricate and beautiful. And although I can sort of talk about these works and talk about what they mean, I can't really sort of explain how tactile and intricate and beautiful these sculptures are. So 
it's really sort of good to come into the gallery and to look at all the sort of small details of them. And we also have a, a sample that you can touch when you're in here to really feel that the plastic does transform through the techniques that she uses. And it doesn't feel like something that you would just throw away, which is, is quite remarkable because all of the items in the gallery, there's discarded plastic bottles, discarded shoes, and obviously largely the plastic bags. And they're all things that have just been thrown away, but because of this transformation, they sort of demand value, they demand to be looked at and admired. They're completely changed into something else within the gallery.